Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. So in the last video, we have created this resume section, this nice resume section. And in this video, we are going to add the dark mode so that you can toggle this between light UI and dark UI. And by the way, guys, this is my final product and this is my ongoing project. So whenever I click on this button, this change theme, it should be toggled to dark mode. It's pretty simple using Tailwind CSS. We are going to follow the proper documentation. So just go to this URL. This tailwindcss.com slash docs slash dark mode. I'll put the link in the description box. So just follow the documentation, guys. Oh, by the way, guys, if you are new to this project, I mean, if you are directly coming to this video just to see how the dark mode works using Tailwind and Next.js, in that case, you need to install these three packages. So let me just go to this package.json. Okay. You need to install these three packages. One is this Tailwind CSS and then Post CSS and the Auto Prefixer. Okay. And then with that, you also need to create two files. One is this tailwind.config.js. And the other one is this postcss.config.js. And then after that, just create your global.css file and import this directive. This tailwind base, tailwind components, and tailwind utilities. That's all you need to do. If anything goes wrong in your setup, you can just watch my setup video of this project. Okay, so I had to tell you this. Let's continue. So just go to our documentation. Okay, cool. So it is written here Tailwind includes a dark variant that lets you style your site differently when the dark mode is enabled. And you can use this dark mode using this dark colon and then whatever color you want. Like this BG gray 800 will be only applied when the dark mode is activated. Cool, that's fair enough. And then it says that the dark mode variant is not enabled in Tailwind by default. So you need to enable this. And how can we enable that? You just need to go to this tailwind.config.js file and then set the dark mode value to media. And another option is available which is called class. Okay, so let's go to this tailwind.config.js file tailwind.config.js file here it is and look at this the dark mode is false you can set this either media or class now when to use media and when to use class let's see okay so it says the media strategy uses the prefer color scheme here it is so it means whenever the dark mode is enabled on the user's operating system in that case this dark mode this dark classes look at this is dark hover bg white dark bg gray whatever this is after the dark the colors will be overwritten by this dark mode so it is kind of an automatic process but we want to change this manually we want to change this using a button so for that we can use the class strategy how let's see here it is toggling dark mode manually so it says if you want to support toggling dark mode manually instead of relying on the operating system preference just use class strategy instead of the media strategy okay we want that so let's use class let's remove this false inside a code class that's it save this okay so now we need to somehow inject this class in our html tree so let's put this in our html root so just go to this document.tsx this underscore document.tsx where it is yeah inside this pages folder underscore document.tsx just target this html and put the class dark that's it and now i can use the dark variant so let's test this so just go to the underscore app.tsx and change the background color of the sidebar so this is my sidebar div a parent div okay so currently the background color is bg white let me just increase the font size i often miss that okay so bg white let's use the dark variant so if the dark mode is enabled i mean if the dark class is enabled in that case i'll make this bg black yep save this let's see i should see my sidebar with a black background oh ho here it is okay now we just need to toggle this dark ui and the light ui using this change theme button we can do that the idea is very simple we just need to alternately add and remove the dark class from the html tree that's what you need to do okay and look at this here is a code snippet provided by tailwind so basically it is saying that you can store your current theme in your local storage and whenever the page is loaded based on your current theme you can add this dark class in your document element or just remove this dark class but this is so messy we can do this in a better way so for that we need to install a package which is called next theme aha dark mode is activated let me just remove that cool so here is the package called next themes and let's see how it works okay so we just need to wrap our whole app using this theme provider so it is based on a context and then it provides a hook Let's see here it is the use theme. So this use theme returns theme and the set theme. Theme is the current theme and the set theme is the setter function. 
So using the set team, you can set the theme. Very simple. Using the set team, you can set the theme. Wow, I love React hooks. Okay. Here's an example, set team, light theme. So basically it injects the light and the dark class in your HTML tree. That's what it does. Very simple to use. And you can also pass this attribute. Okay, let's do that. So just install this next theme. Go to your terminal. And by the way, I have configured this G cell. I had to format my computer cause the hard disk was corrupted. But my computer is still slow. Okay, let me just zoom out. Cool. My package is installed. Nice. So just go inside this underscore app.tsx. I'm on the underscore app.tsx and just import the theme provider. So import from next themes. Cool. Import the theme provider. Nice. And just wrap this full app. So just uh -huh, close this div. Wrap the full div theme provider. Theme provider. Cool. And just pass the attribute class that's it nice and just wrap the div beautiful save this nice and just go to this underscore document.tsx we don't need this class dark anymore remove this cool and now we just need to use the use theme hook to get the current class so for that i'll go to the sidebar.tsx here is our button to toggle this between light ui and dark ui this where it is this change theme actually make this toggle theme what is this change thing? Be professional, bro. Toggle thing. Just go to a top. I close this whole div. Cool. So import from next theme. Themes, not theme. Use theme. Cool. And inside the sidebar, const. Let's destructure something. I don't know what to destructure. Okay. Use theme. Cool. Let's see what it provides, control and space. Okay, we have the theme. And then we have the set theme also. That's it, save this. And let's create a function to toggle this. So const change mode or change theme, change theme. Narrow function. So it will just set the theme using the set theme function. So it will just check if the theme is light in that case, it will make this dark. Else, it will make this light. So, on the first occurrence, it will be undefined. In that case, it will set to dark. And then it will set to light. And now, we just need to trigger this function whenever the button is clicked. Change theme. Go to this button. Add an on-click handler. On this button. On-click. Oh. The name of the function is change theme. That's it. Save this. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It should work. Go to this localhost 3000, refresh the page. Yeah, here it is, my light theme, because the class is undefined. And then click on this toggle theme. Here it is. Hey, hey. Look at this, I can toggle this between dark UI and light UI. And now let's quickly change the colors. So for that, I'm going to add some colors in our tailwind.config file. So inside our colors block, let's add something called black or dark dark let me quickly define those colors and by the way guys i'll put the source code in the description box so you can just check that out so a default this is 010101 let me just copy that copy that copy that copy that 202125 that's it just save this and now just change the colors so let's start with the background so for that, just go to this document.tsx, document.tsx, cool. Okay, so for the dark mode, it will be still a gradient color, but I'll change the color's value. So dark colon from dark 500, and again dark to dark 700. Save this, and let's just quickly check this out. Refresh the page, click on this toggle theme, nice. Let's do the other stuffs. So the dark text color, white, cool. And now just go to this underscore app.tsx, go to a div, and this is not dark bg black, it is dark bg dark 500. It might be boring to add those colors. So let me just go a little faster. Just go to this navbar. I don't need to do anything navbar. Nice. And just go to this components folder, 
go to this bar.tsx this is bg grade 300 right so just go to this tailwind config.js we don't have anything called 300 so let's quickly add the 300 the 300 is same as the 200 i don't want to mess with the colors now so just leave that like that okay go to the sidebar so wherever this is bg gray just make this dark i mean for the dark mode this is bg dark 200 cool so gray 200 to dark 200 just copy this and for the 300 just make this dark 300 where was the 300 oh it was on the bar oh sorry anyway let's copy that put it here bg black bg black that is fine the buttons color is fine save this just go to bar.tsx here it is just make this bg gray sorry bg dark 300 a lot of gray lot of darks uh-huh save this cool yeah seriously cool and now just go to the service card let's see what i need to change here i don't need to change anything beautiful just go to this project section or oh, not projects resume section resume.tsx anything i need to do here nope anyway save this and just go to the index page index.tsx anything i need to change here mm -hmm. yeah, i got a bg grip 400 so just copy this oh, don't need to copy that just add the dark mode and for dark mode this is bg dark what 100 it's fine save this and this again bg gray 200 here it is just copy this just add the dark variant this is bg gray not gray sorry dark 200 save this mm -hmm. i think it is okay fine let's see toggle theme toggle theme so this is my dark mode just click on this about this blue color i need to change that but i'll do that later now one important thing this dark mode by default is only applied for the colors so if you want to control other css properties like box shadows using the dark mode class in that case you need to enable that property so for that let's see the documentation mm -hmm. here it is enabling other utilities look at this you need to extend that property and add this dark variant let's do that so here in this case we want to vary the box shadows for the dark ui and the light ui so just go to this tailwind.config.js tailwind.config.js okay so here is my variant we need to extend that so box shadow colon and then inside an array the variants you want to be activated this is dark cool and now let's define some box shadows so let's go inside this theme and define the box shadow so some custom box shadows i want to add let's say custom light the name of the box shadow let me quickly add some box shadow 0 0 10 pixel the value is 3 1 3 1 3 1 and for the light this is custom light oh sorry custom dark for the dark i'll be using two type of box arrow so 5 pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel okay so here it is just save this what is wrong here oh i need to put a comma save this cool so i have my box shadows and let's add the box shadows so for that just go to this underscore app.tsx and just go to a wrapper of the sidebar cool let's add the box shadow which is shadow shadow custom light and for the dark version i mean for the dark ui if the dark variant is activated i should say so custom shadow custom dark uh -huh, here it is just copy this shadow custom light and shadow custom dark and also apply this for the second div save this let's see i should see a better ui aha uh -huh, i have my box shadow click on this toggle theme i don't have my box shadow i think no i don't have my box shadow why because for the dark variant this is shadow custom dark uh -huh, interesting this is shadow custom dark just go to this just go to this tailwind.config.js oh it is 10 pixel save this yeah so i had a typo it should be 10 pixel not negative 10 pixel cool so that's it for this video i need to change the colors but you should show some creativity to come up with some great colors 
you can watch the Dribble Awards for the Dark UI inspiration. But I surely need to change that. Okay, so that's it for this video. And by the way, guys, thank you to all my 500 subscribers. Thank you for supporting this channel. I have a dream to make this channel much, much bigger. So please keep supporting. See you in the next video. Bye.